So I'm editing this video and I realized that I didn't uh, do a proper intro to it to explain what I was doing. I added an antenna for this 4G modem that I use for my home internet. Um, I had trouble finding much information on how to set this up. So I'll go through it and then I will put links to everything I used down in the description. Hopefully it helps you. All right, so I bought this uh, antenna mount kit on Amazon. You can see there was already a, a dish mount mounted there at one time. So I left the base sitting there. So I'll go ahead and pull that out. And I'll probably caulk these screws as we put them back in, just to keep them watertight. Don't put moisture in there and cause any rot. But this was inexpensive. And it includes the U-bolts and all that you need to mount it, which is great. Um, that antenna that I purchased included that as well. So you'll have extras if you buy the same kit that I did. We'll grab a drill and we're gonna pull those screws out and get to work. All right, to seal it, or to seal the uh, screws, I'm gonna use this DAP Dynaflex 230. Uh, waterproof, it's exterior rated. Mostly I'm gonna use this because I have it on hand. And I think it'll work for what we're doing. Something to note, if you purchase this kit, it does not come with the hardware to attach it to your, uh, to your house or whatever you're mounting it to. So you need to purchase some screws like that. If you want to make things a little easier on yourself, you can take these two bolts out here. Hopefully you can see that. I can't see that the camera sees right now. Take these out and it's easier just to mount this plate up first. Um, but I'm going to try to just leave us all together and do this. I'm going to see if these line up the way. Looks like they do. Like this plate's probably exactly the same as the old plate. So I'm just going to shoot a little bit of this caulk into these holes. Leave it a little bit on the outside. Way too much coming out here. I originally mounted that antenna on that uh, fence post there because I wasn't sure if it would do anything to help me or not. When I first got that that modem, um, when I first got that modem, I could not get connection at all inside the house. There were zero bars, would not connect. So I brought it outside just to see if it would make any difference. And to my surprise, it did. I got a whole one bar. When I brought it outside and got it connected, and I was like, well, this sucks. <laughs> um, there's really not a good internet option out here for us. And my wife uses it for work. And of course, we have a, we have a two-year-old. So we stream a lot of Disney movies. So we needed something capable of at least streaming video. And we're being totally honest, I like to play games a little bit. I'm no good, but I do enjoy it. Hoping for a good internet option. 
and while what we have now is not great, it was the best out of the options we had. At least that's my opinion. And I'm hoping to make a little bit of difference with this antenna um, mount up here. Because the way I have it currently set up, it brought me, from, brought me up from one bar to two bars. Which is definitely an improvement. Um, but I'm hoping to get a little better than that, so we'll see. And then I'm probably going to go grab a rag and try to wipe up this excess caulk. Alright, let's clean this up a little bit. Grab some tools and we'll tighten this up. So it's mounted in the highest position possible. If you purchase this mount that I have an Amazon link for down in the description, these are 7 16 nuts. Make sure that's nice and tight, we don't want it moving. one is a through bolt which probably doesn't matter it probably doesn't need to be real tight if you get these bottom two tightened up they're the ones that slide in this track anyway but I'm gonna go ahead and grab a wrench just so I can get this tight too it's 7 16 as well All right, so let's get this antenna moved up there. I know. Uh, when you go to set these Wilson antennas up, um, so what I did is I. For us, it's a T-Mobile tower that we're using for our data signal. So I, I Google searched um, the nearest T-Mobile tower to us, um, and then I used a compass app on my phone and just pointed it in that direction. It got me close, and I played with it until I noticed the difference on the modem with a signal indicator. Like I said, the way I had it before, we went from one bar outside to having two bars inside. So zero inside, well you'll see it, I'll unplug the antenna from it, you can see the difference the antenna makes for us. And we can see the, the U-bolts they supply are kind of serrated, so they dig in as you tighten them up. Hopefully you can see that. So now that that's in place, we'll have to come back and secure this so probably. I don't, know, I don't know if I use zip ties or something, some other way of attaching this to hold it tight to that coming down. And then I'll probably just tuck it behind this uh, corner cover, for this vinyl siding here. I don't really know exactly what I'm talking about at this point, um, but as you can see, I logged into the modem manager or whatever. But it lets me see the signal from my phone connected to Wi Fi on this, so I can stand out here and adjust this antenna and watch the signal to the modem and see if it gets better or worse. So like right there you can see we're holding two bars. And let me rotate it. Okay, so we have two bars. I'm going to rotate it, give it a second update, and there, I lost all my signal. Oh, I have one bar there. Okay. We'll keep going. But it looks like two bars is about the best I'm going to get out of this, which is unfortunate. I was hoping to get a little better getting this mounted up here on the roof like this. But it's still really not that high. We're only maybe 10, 12 feet in the air. 
I'm sure you could go higher. It might be a little better. The internet company that I'm using, uh, they use T-Mobile Towers. And they had a, an antenna that they recommended that's higher gain. Um, but it was like $250, I think. And I, I just, I wasn't ready to spend that much money on it. So I put piece together this kit and I, I saved, you know, more than half of that. Like I said, I'm right around $100, I believe, into this. I'll put links for everything I have for this setup in the description. Um, and maybe this will work for you, maybe it won't. Well, see, I just lost a bar there, so I need to fine tune. I want to keep it stable, two bars, if I can help it. Like I said, I wish I had more, but this is what we're going to get out of the setup, I think. I'm going to run a speed test on my phone on this app real quick. I'll show you the results of it. And this will be over Wi-Fi, so it's using this network, and I'm outside the house currently. I'm not very far. My router is just six feet on the other side of this exterior wall from me. Okay. Well, hopefully you can see that. There's the results. I got a 46 ping, which isn't terrible for this at all. 32.9 download, 9.36 upload. Uh, that's the best I've seen so far. So even though my signal, my bars didn't increase, uh, I did get an increase in my download and upload speed. And my ping increased slightly. I was running um, like 60 millisecond ping before. So that's better. It's definitely usable. Uh, okay, we have it tightened into place. I gotta do some cable management. And we'll move on. I'll show you the stuff inside the house. Okay, so I don't really have a good way of showing you this without showing you the brand or the um, internet service that I'm using. Uh, so this is the adapter, it's basically a splitter that goes from the cable for the antenna to split and to go in the back of the modem in those two spots, you need that splitter. Um, I believe some antennas have where it's already split separately so they're on two cables in and then using two adapters or whatever. But this is the modem, you can take this anywhere with you, anywhere where you have T-Mobile service you'll have internet. Uh, I believe our plan is like 500 gigabytes a month. Um, so here, I'll show you what happens if I unplug the antenna. Just give it a minute to update. There you go. That is inside my home with this modem. I have zero signal. You can see my network light still flashing because I'm still plugged in, but no signal whatsoever. So as you can imagine, I was pretty uh, irritated when I first got this and I was excited to have it home internet and it didn't work out until I walk, oh, I got a bar. Got one bar back. And you'll see when I hook our Wilson antenna back up. Probably shouldn't do that with it powered up. Just a hunch. And there you go, we're back to two bars. So, it is an improvement. It's not a huge improvement, but it is an improvement. Uh, I'd much rather see that full, but I'm sure you could spend more money on your antenna setup and get better results than I have. But this is what I'm gonna use for now. Um, and who knows, if I'm not happy with it in the future, I might change it and I might get you another video of it. Uh, but this is a Netgear, Oops, this is a Netgear LB1120, LB1120. So this will be an antenna setup for the Netgear LB1120. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully you got something out of this, something useful. Um, I had trouble finding information on this, on how to set this up whenever I went to do it. Um, and when I logged into the modem for my browser, I believe that's a set thing you type in the 192 dot whatever I'm sure you can look that up or if somebody is super helpful in the comments you could put that in there um, exact instructions how to see that so when somebody goes to adjust their antenna they can do it with just one person 
because once I remembered that that was an option, um, that saved me a lot of trips up and down the ladder because I think I was a half a dozen or so before I remembered that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.